say good morning to you ladies. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks oh, for having you, us. Oh, man, we're tickled to death you guys are here. Uh, of course, now, Debbie Jones, uh, you've been in real estate how many years, I guess, Debbie? It'll be 20 in May. 20 in May. So you, you've been here for a while. Uh, and, uh, of course, you're with Jackson Realty, but the uh, Walton Barrow Board of Realtors is what we have you under today. Uh, and, of course, Anita Peters. Now, Anita, good morning to you and uh, welcome in. You've been in the real good estate morning. business a little while, too, haven't you? Yes, 13 years. Wow. Okay. Now, you're the HUD home specialist. Yes. Yeah. You're the HUD gal. Now, tell us uh, a little bit about, uh, I mean, the situation these days. You know, we've got, we see all these homes sitting empty, these subdivisions that were started, never finished, and everybody, uh, let's say a young couple, for instance, uh, they just got married, they're renting a house, they're wondering, how can I get my own home? How, is there any way I can get moved into a home? I mean, this has got to be the impossible dream now, it seems. Yes. Uh, the first step that we need to take is to contact a mortgage lender yeah. to um, get pre-qualified for a home loan. That way they'll know how much home they do qualify for, mm -hmm. and they're prepared um, to go out and start looking from that point. Um, nowadays, um, the banks will not entertain offers without a pre-approval letter okay. or some proof of funds letter before okay. you can even make an offer. So you're not just going to walk into the bank and say, well, I got a little bit of collateral and I, I want to be able to sign up. Would y'all make me a loan or something? I mean, that's not going to happen right, right now, is it? Um, that's possible. Um, they just need to be um, most prepared. Yeah, um, they need to have all this stuff together. They need to they have everything together when they go into the bank. But if they've been banking with a, yeah. banking with a bank for a while, yeah. um, they should be able to go in and get a loan. Yeah. Debbie, you've seen this thing change around a lot in the last 20 years. Uh, you know, we saw things start to pick up 20 years ago, and the housing boom started, and we went straight up the ladder, almost straight up, uh, pretty much, the incline, and everybody went crazy, and they're building houses and building subdivisions left and right, and uh, now it's sort of bottomed out. Have we have we bottomed out on this thing? I think we have. It's hard to tell. We didn't see this coming. It's hard to see when it's going to be ending, but we... Um we are seeing prices start to raise a little bit and the inventory is down a little. So that that's a good thing. It looks like the economy is stabilizing and starting back up and that's what we need. It's still a great time to buy a house. I'm seeing young couples, like you mentioned earlier, go into go from renting, paying nine hundred to a thousand dollars a gosh. month. Yeah, yeah. Now getting into a house of their own that's bigger, insurance, um, taxes and everything for, for sometimes half the payment they've been paying. So it's a great time to buy. You do have to do a little bit more work to get your mortgages nowadays. It's not as easy as it was. Mm -hmm. and, and that's also a good thing. That's what got us in the trouble we're in. But um, now if you if you really want a house and work hard for it, you can get one at a great deal and, and pay it less than you're paying in rent. Well, so we're saying it's a it's a buyer's market. If anybody out there is, I mean, because this thing's going to eventually come back. Uh, it's just a slow go, but we have seen some progress as far as uh, making a move in the right direction. Uh, I think probably the only way it could go is up, but uh, it's just going to take a while, and it's going to take the banks uh, working uh, with these people. Not ne just necessarily young couples. We talked about the young couples, but you know we have a lot of people out there who maybe have lost a home who are going to try to get back on their feet and get started. Maybe the um, spouse lost a job, or maybe both um, individuals have. You know, in some cases, they've both lost jobs and just fallen on hard times, uh, you know, and, and bought the house at a time when the price was high, and uh, they're paying, maybe they got to get they got to get that thing refinanced and get out of that high interest rate. And I think that's what a lot of them are trying to do now. But... Uh, Anyway, I wanted to have you ladies on today to maybe shed some light on the subject and tell us, because we've got a lot of folks out there listening that, that says, man, I would love to get out of this house I'm paying, as Debbie says, $900 a month rent and get my own place. Even if it's only but a few, a couple of acres in a house, I, I want to do that. Um, let me ask you a question. Do they still loan money on, on two acres in a house? Do you have to have more than that now? Is it four acres, five acres? I don't know, Debbie, do you? No, it, the, the amount of land don't matter. There's all kinds of different loans. And, okay. Um, 
the RD rural development loans where you can borrow money on larger tracks. Yeah. FHA or conventional loans. Um, and they'll have the lower interest rates as well too. They do FHA and all that. Um, Anita, the territory that you cover is, is around our Liston area, and you, you've been working in this area here, uh, am I right? Yes. Um, what I can say is that um, for first-time home buyers, there is a special incentive if they purchase a HUD home with FHA financing. Um, HUD allows them to purchase that home with a $100 down payment versus the 3.5% down payment. So there's an incentive there. For, uh, first time home $100 down, Joel. That sounds like mine, your budget, don't it? So if I can borrow the $100 from you. They do have to qualify for the FHA loan, but mm -hmm. if they qualify for the FHA loan, they are able to buy that HUD home with the 100% down payment. My daddy got an FHA loan to build his house in 1961. Um, they had a program out at that time. And of course, a lot, a lot of homes went up in the early 60s. The typical brick home with a small front porch on it and a, you could either have the porch on the side or you could turn it into a garage, I guess, if you wanted to, one car garage. But that was the homes that were being built, they were loaning money on at that time. And uh, I think his payments were something like 40 or $50 a month. But we talk about 1961, the house only, it was, the house was only $10,000, you know, to build the whole, the whole thing. Um, but that was what they were building back then. You can see these houses, you travel the country, the countryside, that they were built about that same time, from 19, I say 1958, 59 on through um, the mid 60s. They had that, the FHA had, they had that program out. And that was through uh, President John F. Kennedy at the time. But uh, he talked about getting that HUD home uh, loan at the time with the FHA. It was, it was a, might not have been a HUD home thing, but it was under that category. And also, uh, they don't have to purchase the HUD home with FHA financing. That's just a special incentive that HUD I does see. offer on their homes. Yeah. Um, a person could purchase a HUD home with a VA loan, um, USDA loan, mm -hmm. um, conventional loan, or just straight cash if they had cash. Okay. All right. You got a question for uh, Debbie or Anita this morning? Debbie Jones and uh, Anita Peters here in the studio with us today. We're talking real estate. We're talking about the housing market and... Uh, Maybe uh, the housing market coming back to 770-267-0923 or 706-342-8360. You may have a question for them or maybe somebody listening and want to know how they can get into a home. And uh, depending on the situation and where you are, I guess. But again, 770-267-0923 or 706-342-8360. Joel's going to be here to answer your call. Joel, do you have a call in about a question on this? Uh, birthday for tomorrow, yeah, okay, we're talking homes here, um, but uh, we, we, we're glad these gals uh, came by to see us, the young ladies here uh, are, are a walking book of knowledge as far as uh, getting this thing done. Uh, Anita, I was talking about the, the area you cover, how, how big an uh, area uh, do you go out, how, how far do you stretch? I cover Walton, Barrow, Newton, Rockdale, Gwinnett, and some DeKalb County. Wow, that's a big area, yeah. And Debbie, you travel from here to Florida to California and back, don't you? <laughs> I, I do Walton County and the immediate surrounding. I try not to get farther than that because then I'm as lost as the bear. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Joe. you got to give you a compass and a, and a, a map to go by. <laughs> 17 past the hour. This is Morning Madness here at Real Country Q92.3. We'll come back and talk to the young ladies here in just a minute. Right now, time for Joel D. and his country notes being brought to you by our friends at Truck Customs in Loganville.